Heather Shreve keeps her grandfather's uniform in plastic to preserve it. It's part of a rich history. Last July, a U.S. retired commander found it at a thrift store in Spokane, Washington, and emailed Heather about the find. Coincidentally, she learned about it on what would have been Colonel Arthur Lee Shreve Jr.'s 120th birthday. Now, I've been hoping to find something of his personal self, you know, a, a uniform, a piece of clothing, a helmet, anything, and there it was. The Taylor's label, A. Jacob and Sons Baltimore, is still intact, and her grandfather's name is clearly written on the inside. Pull this out and look at that. Heather Shreve is a writer and historian and has been keeping hundreds of photos, newspaper clippings, and memorabilia of her family lineage, so she was easy to track down. These diary entries are from her grandfather's secret journal from when he was a prisoner of war in the Philippines in 1942. Arthur Shreve joined the 110th Field Artillery in 1917 and climbed the ranks to Colonel, serving in World War I and II. He was the chief of the Maryland Military District at Fort Meade during Korea and the director of civil defense for Baltimore City during the Cold War. He received the Legion of Merit, a Purple Heart, a Bronze Star, and countless other awards. At some point, Heather plans to start the Shreve Foundation, a museum and a repository for all of this history. It will also be a place for other families to share their veteran stories from the first half of the century. They are stories that live on, and the return of Colonel Shreve's uniform some 60 years later is confirmation his story isn't over yet. The, the inspiration that he has left um, has outstripped and outlived his service. It's the inspiration that makes this story so amazing. Theo Hayes, WBAL-TV 11 News.